Hello everyone and welcome to a Chinese SUV that tries to combine the off-road capabilities, luxury and practicality in a single package which is this Tang 300. So in today's video, we're going to be finding out about this Tang 300. So this Tang 300 is offered in two different variants which is the Challenger and the Conqueror. The one that I'm reviewing is the Conqueror which is the top of the line version and there are some minute differences between the challenger and the conqueror but both of them are essentially the four wheel drive versions that you get on this 300 so let me begin from the front you get this grill out here with this glossy black plastic and inside there is normal plastic with the honeycomb structure this big tank badging in chrome and dark chrome out here some normal bumpers that are given in here easier for off-roading and ruggedness so you can just easily replace them and out here you would find plastic honeycomb mesh out here and surrounding them is this fog light which is given on either side so you get the led fog lights on this tank 300 at the bottom you would find the plastic skid plate so it's got a 33 degree approach angle on this 300 and the whole styling is actually a very good mixture of you know retro and modern look so you have this round headlights out here and the boxiness of the car and still modernness somehow it's just very eye pleasing to look at and when you come to these headlights you get a full set of led headlight cluster on this 300 there are these horizontal drls that are given and the same drls convert into the turn signals and the headlight cluster is also dynamic there are also cornering lights but these fog lights also work as cornering lights and that's how they achieve the cornering lights in that sense and there's also a camera that is given out here for all your safety systems your lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control so it keeps a watch on the traffic in front of you and warns you there's also this glossy black grill surrounding these headlights but the main headlight cluster has this normal plastic a glittery sort of plastic a little bit but yeah that's the plastic that's given around these headlights now out here on the sides you get these broad plastic arches normal plastic given out here in the front and also in the back it's again to make it look much more rugged and also it's very easier to replace if you go off-roading and break some of these stuffs in here and in terms of these rims you get 17 inch alloy rims black color and there's tank badging in the center and it's actually nicer because if you want to go off-roading you can remove some tire and increase actual contact patch instead of being you know given bigger rims and then yeah just you wouldn't be able to take anyways after that so the tires that you get on this one are just the road going tires not the off-roading or the all-terrain tires so yeah you may want to change them before going off-roading and there's this fixed plastic sideboard that has been given out here and on the top you get these metal roof rails yeah and the car itself from the side profile also is pretty simple and clean and much more boxier if you see and then when you come to these side mirrors these are normal plastic side mirrors they are power foldable they are also power adjustable they have one of the cameras from the 360 degree camera system there's also a turning light that has been given and there is no blind spot warning that has been given on this tank 300 and the thing is when you are sat in a traffic or going at lower speeds of below 30 kilometers and if you try to turn then these cameras activate on either side if you're going left or the right and they show you on your infotainment screen the feed so that it's just easier to see the traffic around you so maybe yeah if you're taking a u-turn or if you're parking then it's just easier to see what's around you when you come to these doors you get smart keyless entry doors but just in the front ones and again they also have normal plastic and on the base variant you get just the keyless entry doors and when you come to the four wheel drive so on as i said on the conqueror and the challenger both of them get the four wheel drive but on the conqueror you get differentials in the front and the back whereas on the challenger you only get the rear locking differentials now this tank 300 may have a smaller footprint but it's pretty tall that is you can see by the height of it now in the back you get full set of led tail light cluster out here the turn signals reversing light everything is in led your gwm tank badging four wheel drive and the 300 badging 
in chrome on the other side you get this proper full size spare wheel that has been given on this 300 along with this black color glossy cover that houses one of your reversing cameras and then at the bottom out here you get normal plastic bumper and again that's been given so that it's just easier to replace if you go off-roading and sort of damage any of these bits out here and in terms of the departure angle you get a 34 degree angle so that's going to come in pretty handy if you are going to be tackling some bigger dunes in that sense in terms of the visibility it's actually all right there's just that half bit of this tire that sort of surrounds your or takes over the view from your rear view visibility but nonetheless the the rear view is pretty broad that way so you can see quite a bit of traffic now in order to open the boot door so there is this handle which is again in plastic that has been given but it's not your mechanical latch but it's an electronic one so you press this button you have the clicking sound and then you can open this door single one quite a massive one there's also storage that is given out here like a pocket storage there are tying points out here where you can hang your shopping bags and everything now when the rear seats are folded up you can put 400 liters of luggage in the back which is pretty all right for a small suv i would say and it's also pretty even there's not arches or anything that protrudes or eats up your boot space there are also scuff plates that are given out here there are also tying points given in the back so you can tie down your luggage there's also a fire extinguisher that's been given there's also a three pin 220 volt power socket that has been given so in case you want to connect your vacuum cleaner or maybe your laptop charger sit down here and walk around you can do a lot more things with that three pin plug there's also a 12 volt power socket that has been given more tying points that are given on either side now the rear seats are foldable in a ratio of 60s to 40 but in order to fold them down you have to go in the front and there's a bit of a trick so you first lift the bottom bit of the seat and then fold down the backrest the same goes for the front i don't know if i can reach out from here oh yeah i have to go down from there or maybe i can do it from here if your hands are longer yeah you can do that from here too but you still have to fold those seats so that they fold down flat and now once you fold down you get massive amount of cargo space out here which is like pretty much rectangular in here and also pretty good wide opening and the boot floor itself is pretty flat and it's got this carpet lining too so yeah you can put in a lot more stuff in your larger objects or your furniture or something at the bottom there is also a toolkit that has been provided along with a woofer so this car has like 10 speaker infinity music system that you get so yeah that's sitting on the bottom of this boot floor but yeah overall the boot space is pretty big that you can utilize for put a lot of your camping gears also chairs whatever you want to put and when you want to close this you just pull this door give it a slam and close it now as i mentioned that this tank 300 combines also the luxury factor into the whole car and it's the interior where you would start noticing those bits because the overall layout and the interior quality out here is slightly better than i thought to be honest so because it's an off-roader so yeah you would most likely you know think of a car that has a lot of plastic this has but still it's got a good blend of materials all around so let me begin from the dashboard you get soft touch leather covered dashboard out here with this white color stitching out here on the door cards again soft touch leather covered material on the door cards on the side there's this leather covered black color that has been given on the door cards white color stitching we're going to be resting hands again that's leather covered so the entire door card pretty much is leather covered only at the bottom there's just plastic out here you get this silver color plastic trim with this sort of pattern on it even the steering wheel is leather covered out here you get this sparkly sort of dark gray plastic around these dials and the switches and this sort of unique gear shifter i'm going to come to that out here it's just normal plastic but the whole cockpit also 
resembles slightly to a few cars that way and the most noticeable one are these air conditioning vents that you see so you get these round air conditioning vents on either side and then not just that these are also the illuminated so there is like lights that are given around these vents and if you want to open or close you just rotate them and yeah very satisfying though the quality on it is rather good there is also this clock that has been given there is also mood lights that are given in the door cards out here in the dashboard on the other side and in order to change the mood lights you can go into the vehicle settings and then you go into the lights then your ambient lights and you have 64 different color options that you can select on this tank 300 whereas the base variant the challenger has about seven combinations that you can select from but on this one you have 64 so yeah these rings also change the color accordingly so everywhere it's just, it's just common or you can even leave it in dynamic where it just uses all the lights and sort of shows you in the cockpit at night so that's your ambient lights more normal plastic around these switches around these air conditioning vents and the clock but yeah it's a mixed bag of materials out here that has been given napa leather seats on this thing whereas on the base variant you get the standard leather so i get why that has been plastic also because it's an off-roader so it still has to be rugged and you have to use it every day so it's for that reason there are rubber carpets that are also given so yeah they are just easier to clean once you have an off-roading session now when you come to the driver's display you get a 12.3 inch digital driver's display which is pretty bright and crisp but there's no way to change the different layouts on this driver's display so you get like your rpm counter on the left side at the bottom and the speed on the right side so there's no speed that can be shown in the middle this is what i miss or the round dial sometimes because it's just i'm so familiar looking at them you have a lot more information that you can see on your driver's display in order to change that so you have three different sections so on your left side middle and the right side that you can change the information whereas in the middle when you have the cruise control active it takes over with the car showing you the traffic and the lanes and everything but when it's off you can change that middle bit so let me start off from the left side you can see your consumption your a b the range and then your tire pressure monitoring the trip information how much you've covered trip a trip b and then you're back to the consumption and it shows even your instantaneous fuel consumption when you're going around and then the middle one you can see your range same tire pressure trip a consumption and the range again so the same set of options you can see in, even in the middle and you can select which ones you have then on the right side same one you have the trip information a b fuel consumption a and b your range tire pressure and then your back so yeah you can select which information you want to see on either side and then accordingly set your entire driver's display so that's basically your driver's display and it shows you everything from your four wheel drive traction control all that information on this display itself now when you come to this steering wheel this is a leather covered steering wheel with a white color stitching and it's also got this silver color plastic at the bottom and around the switches big tank badging in the center along with this leather covered bit middle one and there are also paddle shifters that are given plastic ones but yeah i mean if you can you can use it you get eight speed automatic gearbox on this thing but the plastic paddle shifters are slightly shorter to my liking but the steering wheel is a little slimmer also and surprisingly it's just easier to you know hold this steering wheel because it's slimmer so yeah it's just rather yeah ergonomically i like it and in terms of the adjustment you can adjust it tilt and telescopic both so you have both the capabilities so you can find your right driving position and then there are buttons given on either side on the left and the right so on the right side you have the buttons to change all your driver's information so the buttons that are given out here so in order to change anything there's a home button there is a back button then all the top buttons that you can navigate your menu options from there is also a star button that takes you into the media option or you can even change that star button to show you whatever information system you go into steering wheel key and the best listening position or your play favorite station but if not that you can even 
swipe down from the menu option and then there is a custom key you can directly do that while you're on the move so quick options are also given in here too and on the left side you would find the buttons for your media control and also the communication controls and there's also an adaptive cruise control that has been given on this tank 300 but in order to access that the stick is behind the steering wheel at the bottom side so it's most of the times hidden so you still have to turn but hey you can't turn while activating that cruise control so yeah so you have to just memorize but yeah you have the adaptive cruise control there's also intelligent cruise control basically your lane keep assist and everything again that's another plus point on this conqueror instead of the challenger where it does not have the adaptive cruise control so that's what you get on this thing and it's just very easy to set and everything and the thing is that there are like pretty heavy dark tints on this car which is why the video may appear to be a little darker so i apologize if you cannot see some of the bits on this car but i'll try to post more layover videos on this so that you can see the maximum cockpit inside this tank 300 now when you come to the air conditioning controls you get a split options of buttons and the screen option so at the bottom there are buttons straightforward given for your on and off there is ac button then your fan speed then the mode button and the temperature set so you can do all that from your while you're on the move but if you want to do more changes like the passenger and the driver side because you get dual zone air conditioning system on this thing so you can go inside from this screen or you can even do a quick change of temperature and fan speed from here switch it on and off so that quick options are given out here there's also information that you can see on top two on your left side so you can go inside the air conditioning system and you can switch it on and off from here you can change the temperature you can leave it in dual zone or the individual passenger driver adjustments then the flow of air and it automatically goes away it just does not stick there all the time then there is also options given for your ventilated seats so you get cool seats on this tank 300 both the driver and the passenger side seat so you can change the or switch it on and off from here on either side but if you don't want to do that again you can swipe down the menu options and there is an option for your seat where you can go inside and then you can change the ventilated seat options you can increase the speed or whatever you want to do so all those quick options are given inside this uh, system which is actually nicer while you're on the move because you can just drop down and change all these settings quickly so you don't have to go through the entire process of going inside the menu option and in terms of the cooling it's actually all right i would say because the windows are also tinted so it easily cools the car down in under five minutes and let me put it in the maximum fan speed yeah slightly loud it tends to get that's only thing but yeah at least it gives you the cooling ability and again you have the ventilated seat options also so when you come to the infotainment screen you get a 12.3 inch again infotainment screen and the screens itself are just connected like there's just a bit in the middle that divides them but seamless like you know the driver's display and the infotainment screen is again connected in terms of so it gives you that seamless you know screen options but it's a 12.3 inch infotainment screen and the menu options are quite straightforward that way some of the options are quite inside but most of them are just there in front of you so you get these widgets in front of you for your media your phone connected or your air conditioning you swipe and you have the ventilated seat again you can change it from here also and the car options that shows you what tire pressure what mode you are in driving modes and everything and it's also decently snappy like yeah it's pretty light that way for sure then you can go into the vehicle settings so there are touch options given on the side of the screen so you can go inside and then your first setting is your light then you can change your time ambient mode and everything your driving your seat intelligent driving so lane keep assist and all of that parking then your next option is your media where you will find all your connectivity options so in terms of the connectivity you can connect this infotainment system using bluetooth usb and there's also wired android auto and apple carplay that has been given and not just that there's also a 32 gb internal storage that has been given on this thing so you can store something on this system too so you don't have to remember or connect your phone all the time but it's always there using the usb of course you can just connect it and then copy it down onto the system then your next option is your 
other options like your Apple CarPlay, radio, day-to-day -day options, multimedia, Bluetooth phone, then your system settings which has all your day-to-day -day settings like your audio, display, device list, time, language, steering wheel, storage space as I was mentioning, then the factory reset and all of that, then you come back to your home button and then the more options are your vehicle settings and the picture options and then the home button then you can swipe down and you can see more options like the steering setting that you can change so you can change the lightness or the hardness of the steering using these three options comfort sport or light light is light sport is where it gives you like the maximum you know heaviness to the steering then the custom key then your lane key passes you can change it from here static ambient lights that you can switch it on and off from here auto start stop and there is another option called as the off-road cooling now this is an interesting bit so if you are going to go off-roading your car needs an extra bit of cooling the engine so it switches on the fan to the maximum speed so you can even hear it when you switch on that off-road cooling so it gives you essentially more cooling for off-roading and yeah that's actually a pretty clever option that has been given more options to adjust your brightness of the screen and your volume and everything and then you come out of it and then that's your main screen there are also buttons given the touch buttons on the side for your screen on and off you can switch the screen on and off from here or you can even change the volume or mute it but i wish there was like a dial that was given because these touch buttons yeah you really have to see where they are and then press them in order to operate them so that's the only thing now in terms of the charging you get two usb ports one normal and one type c that is given for the front passengers along with one 12 volt power socket and for the rear passengers you get two normal usb ports now on this tank 300 because it's a, an off-road vehicle so you get these grab handles that are given on all the sides so for the driver side the passenger side even in the rear on either side there's also this bar that has been given like a handle so you can hold on to that while you go off-roading and you get a normal sunroof on this tank 300 the fact that there is a sunroof i'm still pretty impressed by that there's also an sos button that has been given for emergency purposes and the sun visors they don't extend unfortunately so it leaves a bit of a gap in here but they are pretty broad if you are going to be using it in the front but on the sides yeah it lacks that little bit of that coverage now in terms of the music system as i said you get 10 speaker music system which is from infinity and on the bass variant you get eight speaker music system so that's what you get on this thing there are also more dials that are given out here for your different driving modes now there's a bit of a procedure to switch on to different driving modes now the thing is there are special terrain modes that are given but in order to do that you have to put your car in neutral let me explain you why then you put the car in four low then you can change it to different settings like your mud and sand then the rock mode and the mountain mode and the pothole mode it's also got that so in that case there are potholes then it would navigate and make sure the wheels don't slip and all of that then you come to the normal mode but there is also a snow mode in order to do that into go into that mode you have to put the car in four high and then you can put it in the snow mode after that so it shows you normal mode or the snow mode it's designed for slippery surfaces there is also different driving modes that you can go into so in order to do that you have to press the next button underneath of that so it's called the export mode and you can customize three different settings on that where you can select your drive mode which is normal sport or eco steering mode you can set and the traction control settings so lots of bits to memorize before you switch to different driving modes on this thing even it can happen in two wheel drive also the different settings for your normal sport and eco so you can go into that one too from here so that's your buttons for the different driving modes and the dial for your two wheel four wheel and four low is given on the right side and there are also buttons that are given out here on the right side for the locking differentials for the front and the back it's the electronic locking differentials when you come to this gear shifter you get this sort of very unique gear shifter it's very stylish so you can easily put the car like in terms of functioning it's very easy just slide it into d 
drive neutral reverse or the parking mode and then the unlock button is on the side but yeah definitely feels pretty stylish on this 300 now when you come to the storage you can put about one and a half liter worth of bottle in the door cards and some more storage on the side there's also another small storage on the left side that has been given where you can put your wallets or cards or something there's also an ashtray that has been given on the driver's side so you can use that too there's also this another tray that is given underneath the air conditioning controls to put your phones or your wallets when your phones are charging and there is also this glove box which is decently big even on the passenger side you can put one and a half liter water bottles or more storage on the sides then you have this center armrest inside which there is a bit of storage and also a slidable tray so you can slide that in the back but underneath of that you would find these two flexible cup holders that are given that you can even remove like this but yeah you don't know where you'll put this so again it goes back in there and you can slide the tray and behind that you would find more storage out here where you can put about four half a liter worth of bottles and also it's the cooled hand rest that you get so you can slide that door down and you can let the cooling in so if you put some drinks you can chill them in there you can use this tray also to put your phones and wallet and even in the rear door cards you can put one and a half liter of worth of bottle in both the door cards and there are also two normal cup holders that are given in the center armrest now in terms of the seats you get napa leather seats on this tank 300 which are in black color with the white color stitching white piping that has been given and they are pretty broad in that sense and also pretty decently comfortable i would say there's just that these seats are slightly shorter which is what i find and sometimes i find a little bit of under thigh support that's missing sometimes that's the only thing but in terms of the comfort they are very nice like in the back there's decent amount of side support and at the bottom also there's good amount of support and these are the cool seats so that's an additional factor they are also perforated for that reason and in terms of the adjustability so the driver side seat is eight way electronically adjustable and four way lumbar adjustment but not just that the driver side seat also has a massage feature so you press a button and then that same lumbar support sort of goes around and it gives you that massaging effect very light but nonetheless there is a massage option but only for the driver whereas on the passenger side seat you can adjust the seats only four way electronically now out here in the rear things are decently spacious i would say because you have good amount of knee room in here about yeah half a worth of palm and also the headroom is also decent out here someone about six feet will easily be able to fit into these rear seats also the roof has a bit of a cutout so that gives it an extra bit of head space in here and you can even slide your legs under the seats somewhat like during the longer journeys but at least that gives you an extra bit of comfort and in terms of these seats you get the same napa leather seats out here perforated but they are not the heater or the cool seats in any form and they are pretty comfortable in here too like in fact i might find them more comfortable than the front ones because they are slightly softer than the front ones for sure and the only thing is that you sit a little on the lower side as you can make out from the angle that my knees are making but it's still decently comfortable and it's also got good amount of angle in the backrest too there are also three headrests that you get and white color stitching on these seats and in terms of the middle seat there is not much of a tunnel in here it's actually just flat and you get rubber carpets in the back too and once i sit in the middle the bottom bit is pretty soft but the rear back rest yeah that's a little hard and the reason being that there is also a hand rest that has been given that has two flexible cup holders that are given on this thing and yeah it just is at the right height also i like that too it's just that yeah if there was a cover to cover these cup holders when you're not going to be using them you can use the entire one otherwise yeah you can even leave your phones actually but yeah so that's all right that way in terms of the quality out here yeah it's like normal door cards that you get in the back and where you're going to be resting hands that's leather covered on the sides again you have leather covered with white color stitching mood lights also given in the back these 
speaker grills with the infinity badging in here at the bottom normal plastic and you can put about one liter worth of bottle in the door cards and there's not much storage apart from that there are these pocket storages a bit narrow but they are definitely deeper on the driver and the passenger side seat that you get there's also another slot at the bottom of these air conditioning vents where you can put your phones while they are charging so yeah definitely the quality in the back is also quite there and matching with the front too and as i said you get two air conditioning vents also for the rear passengers you can adjust the direction and the flow of air and that's about it there are two normal usb ports that are given for charging but overall yes it's it's a decent space that you get out here in the back the seats also have a slight bit of curve which gives you an extra bit of knee room also but yes for a 4x4 and also to give you that uh, 400 liters of boot space in the bank this is a pretty good arrangement that has been given on this 300 and these windows also roll down completely and they are like pretty squarish that way this is very big broad view and the visibility all around is pretty good on this tank 300 so this tank 300 comes with a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged engine that produces 224 horsepower and 387 newton meters of torque and this engine is mated to an 8 speed automatic transmission and it sends the power to all the four wheels so you have the four wheel drive system there are also as i mentioned front and the rear diff locks that you can utilize and it's an electronic differential locking differentials that you get on this tank 300 but let me first come to the power and the engine and the transmission itself because the power transmission that way is very smooth i i like for a day-to-day -day use this is pretty good honestly there's just a bit of turbo lag on this thing that's the only thing but most of the times it just works very smooth the gear shifts are also crisp going from lower gears to higher gears or from higher to lower it's very smooth transition but the only thing is that what i sometimes feel is that this engine just feels like it's not meant for an suv you know you when you're when you are sitting in a car and you're driving it and you hear it you just don't think that it belongs here maybe it's for a sedan or maybe a crossover but definitely not a 4x4 and in terms of the off-road capabilities i've not really tested that much you know the capabilities of this car as i said because this car doesn't have the off-road tires and then there was no point but i still tried to do light bit of off-roading on mix of sand and gravel it did that but it still kept slipping a little bit again that's to do with the wheels also but there are different driving modes and the terrain modes that you can utilize and put the car into that one so it knows what and how to react on different surfaces but yes the engine as i said yeah let me accelerate yeah you see it just feels very light for a car that's meant to be an off-roader that's the only thing now when you come to the suspensions you get a little harder setup on this tank 300 and you sh should expect that because this is an off-roader and the only way that it can become more capable it's by having a little bit of harder setup in that sense but for again day-to-day -day use it's all right it soaks up bumps pretty well i would say and the chassis also itself is rather good because you get a ladder and frame chassis on this thing so you still feel that you are separated a little bit from that chassis because of the whole setup that this thing comes with but nonetheless it's more effective for off-roading also i would say but yeah that is if i did off-roading again i'm like a single guy so i don't have company when i'm going around filming these things so I don't want to risk it also by getting myself trapped somewhere but i still did somewhat to just see how this car reacts now when you come to the steering again the steering is an electronic one and you can change as i said the different settings on this thing the firmness of it i like the sporty setup on this thing because it gives you a good amount of feedback and also at the same time when you are off-roading you want something that's also light so you can turn into light mode and then you can 
quickly change the directions also because it's slim so it's easier to hold the feedback from this thing is all right i would say and even though this is an suv there is of course slight bit of roll that you get because of it being a little taller also but in terms of the maneuverability it's good it's very good club with these cameras you can get good amount of visibility all around and yes the steering setup i would say is rather decent on this tank 300 now in terms of the brakes you get four disc brakes on this tank 300 and the performance is all right though the pedal feels a bit spongy initially when you try to press it and it's only when you go a little deeper it's when you get that harder you know braking action from the pedal but overall the setup is more biased towards the front these brakes that's for sure because when you brake it immediately sort of dives in the front the nose itself dives a little bit in the front but that's when you hard brake but if you just generally brake it's decent and yeah just that softness of the pedal that's the only thing now when you come to the noise and the vibrations so the thing is there is no vibrations or anything as such right now and this is a fairly new car so i cannot judge based on that but overall it looks quite solidly built so i'm guessing it's gonna last a little longer than usual and also plastic bits to make sure it's more rugged and in terms of the noise there's a bit of tire noise and also there is a quite a bit of wind washing from around these windows especially when it's a windy day like today and if you go beyond 120 yes you can hear quite a bit of wind whooshing from these windows sometimes i've even heard some whistling sort of thing that's going around from these windows so yeah that's is the thing and also the engine when it's pushed a little bit you can hear that too the engine tries to sound a little sporty like see that tries to sound sporty and it definitely sounds a little bit like that when you accelerate so yeah that's another sort of sound that you will hear inside this cabin but not too much from the engine department now when you come to the safety systems so you get six airbags two for the front driver and the passenger two side airbags again for the driver and the passenger there are two curtain airbags given on the frames and on the base variant you don't get six but you get four airbags that's the difference again then you get the child isofix points in both the rear seats there is also a brilliant 360 degree camera system i'm very impressed by that camera that has been given on this tank 300 you can select different views 2d 3d then the different uh, views in terms of you know the front view rear view all of that and also you can see the car in 3d like all around and you can even change the color of your car if you like to see it in orange gray white or transparent you can change all of that from inside the settings so good amount of control that you get on these 360 degree camera system that has been given on this thing but essentially it's crisp it's smooth and yeah you can pretty much see everything around the car even at night when it's dark it functions quite well and there's also the lane keep assist that you get the adaptive cruise control then your lane departure warning all of that standard systems that are all given on this thing but the intelligent cruise control system or your lane departure warning does not come on the base variant so that's another difference that you get there's also abs there's ebd tire pressure monitoring system traction control all of that is given on this tank 300 now when you come to the pricing so the base variant which is the challenger comes in at 119,900 dirhams whereas this one which is the conqueror comes in at 134,900 dirhams now in terms of pricing it's actually quite i would say right there in terms of with the other guys like your toyotas and the other you know hardcore off-roaders that you get so it's just in that league and in terms of that i would say look i like how the car looks it's 
got nice bit of interior it's also got good amount of materials which i guess other cars lack in this segment and in terms of the capabilities again i still can't say exactly that it's a hardcore 4x4 because it can be a light 4x4 so if your requirement is more hardcore then I, sh I think you should definitely look for some other options but if you're just gonna be going around Kudra side or maybe somewhere near Hatta where there's loose rocks and mixture of gravel and everything then yes this car works well but essentially there is like technology in this car there is everything that you need and it's modern at the same time it's stylish also and that is what i really like about this car because a lot of people have looked at this car and they've sort of yeah looked at it again and again to see what it was we a mixture of a lot of cars but essentially it's a head turner for sure and i i would suggest that the base variant is more than enough because you have like eight speakers instead of ten then less airbags but it's still all right but you still get four wheel drive and everything from the package the same looks every single thing that's there it's all there on the base variant so yeah for a 15,000 difference yes you can check the base variant and if you want to still go all out and want to have like a proper fully loaded feature loaded car then you can even go for this one which is for 134,000 dirhams so yeah whatever you want you can check this car out there's also this another uh, hook that i forgot to mention that's been given on the passenger side to put your shopping bags and everything so yeah that's another storage option that has been given anyways that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching this video and if you like this video make sure to press that thumbs up button and if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye take care and drive safe